Meanwhile, there's been a new twist to the political saga that is playing out in Malaysia as Muhyiddin Yassin has now been sworn in as the country's new interim prime minister. This after Malaysia's King Sultan Abdullah appointed the 72-year-old Yassin as the prime minister following days of political turmoil after Mahathir Mohammed's shock resignation last Monday. The official statement from the palace says that the king in his opinion, thought that Muhyiddin Yassin had the support of a majority of the members of parliament. Now, shortly after the oath-taking ceremony that took place earlier this morning, these are the visuals from the oath-taking ceremony, Muhyiddin Yassin said that he will be making a statement pretty soon. Now I will just say thanks to Allah and of course uh, for the uh, appointment today. I will issue a special statement. I will issue a special statement in the next few hours. Meanwhile, the former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohammed has called for an urgent meeting of the Parliament, saying that Muhyiddin Yassin cannot prove his majority. We are going to ask for an urgent sitting of Parliament. At that urgent sitting, we will see who has the majority. I feel betrayed mostly by Mohidin. He was working on this for a long time and now he has succeeded. Now, Mohyuddin Yassin is a former interior minister and is the head of the Bersatu party, which is also the party that Mahathir Mohammed had earlier been able to defeat. But there's an interesting catch to Yassin's minister with the backing of the United Malays and National Organization, the UMNO, ironically, is the same party which was ousted by Mahathir Mohammed and Anwar Ibrahim back in the year 2018. Now, what this means is that Muhyiddin Yassin has found a new coalition partner for the Bursatu and will be forming the government but practically splitting the party. Meanwhile, experts say that the political crisis in Malaysia is far from over. So what you saw in the last 24 hours before the swearing in today is that Mahathir tried very hard to see the king of Malaysia to try to get the king to reverse his decision to appoint Moyeding. Mahathir claims that he has the uh, majority of support among the members of parliament. In Malaysia, to be a prime minister of the form of government, you need 112 MPs. Mahathir claims to have at least 114 MPs. Going forward, Mahathir will still be in the game. Uh, you have to remember that the first sitting of parliament will be the 9th of March. So in between now and the 9th of March, I'm sure Mahathir and also Muyeding on his side will try to collect as many MPs as possible because it's almost certain that during the sitting of parliament, uh, on front of Mahathir's side, they'll try to pass a motion of no confidence, while from the government side, they'll try to pass a motion of confidence to ensure that the current government survives.